What's up? And welcome back. It's been a while. Uh, lots of things have been going on in the world and I've been just kind of hunkered down, learning, prepping, growing, and that leads me to this right here. I wasn't actually sure if I was going to do an unboxing on video for this, but audio and this project I'm working on is literally right down this alley. So if you noticed, I've been prepping this space right here for a project and it included me working on the lights and uh, exposure and you know camera setup and those kinds of things whatever and I had everything set up so I might as well do this unboxing. If you're watching this channel then you know about me and the fact that I DJ and work in an audio medium and this type of stuff right here um, it's not just right down my alley but it kind of low-key makes me excited. This right here is made by Rode Microphones. It is the Rodecaster Pro. And with this project that I'm working on in this space that you're literally currently seeing, I got this piece of hardware so that we can have multiple microphones. And I'll tell you more about it as I unbox it. Got to get the envelope opener. <laughs> we open envelopes with this. That's, that's all that this is used for. Basically, this was designed to be a really cool studio microphone console. This might be easier. This is taped up too. Or not. That was the sleeve. Ah, here we go. It opens up like this. It's got that new product smell. What in the world? Wow. I suppose if you need to teach, here you have the Rodecaster Pro screen. It's a touch LCD that allows you to control all the menu functions. Yeah, that's, that's interesting though. Like, <laughs> all right, I'm assuming this is a little accessories box. Jackpot. Whoa. Why with all the big, huge placards? This is, we'll see, we'll have to see what this is about. Well, that was useless. Eh. What in the... Oh, I think I... Hey, we'll have to talk about that in a second. Power adapter. And a USB-C to USB cable. And the moment, of the moment of truth here. There we go. All right. All right. This thing looks legit. Looks official. Feels official. Well, that I don't know. This is, <laughs> that looks a little crooked, to be honest with you. Outside of that, this thing uh, feels sturdy. Looks a little bit janky here. Pads feel nice. They, all, they feel like, uh, they almost feel, well, okay, they don't actually feel like MPC pads, but they're about that size and, you know. Look at that. Okay, let's go over really quickly what came in the box. There was a huge power cord. This is the other end of the adapter. Pretty large and hefty. USB. This, you plug this into the computer and uh, I'm not sure if you would plug this into anything else other than the computer, but obviously for connection. Immediately I figured out what these are for. It's probably because if you have different recordings, then you can label, you know, like the, the banks that you have. Or from what I understand, you can have different multiple banks on here and that way you can probably just memorize what each bank is by placing it on there by placing them on there after you choose so template cards for your sound banks not exactly sure what these are for and last but not least on the very next placard it literally says right here quick start guide this has to be the largest quick start guide in the history of all products the third placard is basically a breakdown of all the key features and stuff like that okay this isn't a detailed review of the roadcaster pro it is a simple unboxing but i will go over a couple of the key features that this thing has um, so it is basically a console for you to hook up all of your microphone inputs for a podcast per se there's uh, four microphone preamps for you to directly insert your microphones into channels one, two, three, and four. 
it has a Bluetooth connection, and it also has a phone connection. And from what I understand, it allows you to have a call in so that you can talk to like a phone, so that you can talk to like a phone guest. Also, there's a feature where you can connect your phone audio through it and pump it up. That's another channel. There literally is a phone icon right here. Um, I'm not exactly sure how that works because there is a Bluetooth feature right here as well, which allows you to Bluetooth to a phone, which I'm sure would play the audio from that particular channel. But the point is, there's a pot for it. You have literal control over that particular channel of going up and down. So you could have a phone as a guest caller and you could Bluetooth and play, you know, potentially audio or video or anything like that that you want to show. On the very right hand side of the road podcast right here, you have a bank, which uh, I know that you can select multiple different banks from. So you can play different sound effects and clips and those kinds of things uh, during your recording. There's a big, huge, large recording button here on the top, which I'm sure will allow you to know that you are recording because I'm sure it lights up in red and we'll plug it in and we'll plug it in here in a little bit. And right here are the four headphone amp volume controllers and to the right of that you have a speaker volume so i'm assuming that this is just a, a global control to allow you to control the volume that you are sending out from the console okay so the inputs on the back uh, basically there's a power adapter plug right here a big huge red button on it there is a usb-c connector which is really cool because it, you know it Everything is USB-C nowadays moving forward so that it's not outdating itself really, really quickly. Also a micro SD uh, card slot right here because you can record your recording. You can record your session directly onto the micro SD. I have to look a little bit more into it, but I don't recall if it said that it re said that it records stems for each channel. I imagine something of this level would record stems. Okay. Plug this into the wall. Let's plug this bad boy up and turn it on and let the lights blink and all that kind of stuff. And we can talk about the last feature. There you go. All right. So the last feature I'll touch on is the fact that this LCD screen is touchscreen. Now, obviously it's uh, reactive to everything that you do console wise. What does that say? Now discoverable. And uh, within this, there's a whole bunch of different modes and settings and those kinds of things. You can EQ each individual channel from what I understand. Don't quote me exactly on that, but I think you can go in and EQ every single channel. This little touchscreen has a lot of function in it and it's basically the powerhouse behind the entire console uh, in terms of connectivity and uh, custom settings and even all the, all the separate banks that you can have. And, and let's see if I can find that right now. Okay, so... Here's the home button. Here's the gear control allows you to get into the settings and those kinds of things. Channel. So for let's just say channel four, you can adjust its level, the strength, the tone. I think that's like uh, allowing you to you know further adjust the tone, the tonal quality of each channel and the uh, audio processing here. You can put, like I said, on each channel you have all of these functions. Go back out then to sounds. So here is where the banks are. Uh, right here it says bank one, bank two. Oh, I think it's just two banks. I think I have to go in and add the new firmware, the latest firmware that is uh, available for this. And I think that might give you more banks. If you see here, like uh, when I change the color, the reactive, it uh, is color coded so you can remember. So if you have a particular way of hitting those buttons, you can uh, set it however you want. So it's really, really easy to use. Like I didn't read any directions or anything like that right now. Obviously I have a little bit of background in electronics and this kind of stuff, but I obviously still have to play with it for a while to get like really, really familiar with it. But, okay, there you have it. The Rodecaster Pro. Uh, that was all the features and everything. It's really cool, really intuitive. If you know anything about, you know, broadcasts and consoles and those kinds of things, this is a pretty familiar and simple layout. I'll have to go through all of the menus and functions, all that kind of stuff, and get a little bit more familiar with that in detail, what each little function of the menu does. But again, really, really simple and easy to use. But there it is in all its glory. I'm, I'm actually really excited about this little bad boy right here. Um, you're going to see it obviously in use. Oh, well, you're not going to see it because it's going to be behind the camera, behind the scenes. Okay, that was a quick unboxing and overview of the Rodecaster Pro. You got to see how it looks, it feels, and it smells. <laughs> okay, you didn't get to smell it. But let me let you know, it smells nice. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thanks for joining me here today. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment uh, if you like this video. Make sure you keep an eye out for this space right here. It will make a reappearance in the near future. I'll probably be sitting literally right here. All right, thanks guys. Peace. I'll see you in the next one. 
Lots of things been going on. Yeah. Oh, just the wrong direction, wrong direction. Okay, so that was a quick. Okay, so that was a quick. Okay, so that was a quick. It was not a quick.